the overall mission, of course, is to put that vanity back into the, that spot where it belongs. What should be noted is that the old caulking here needs to be scraped off and this line and that line should be scraped off. I feel like before that vanity is put in. Also, the bottom edge of this caulking right here should be removed. I think before that vanity go in, that's how I'm going to do it if you don't do it. And then the uh, vanity goes in. Now you can see the level of the floor is not, all these, this elevation is lower back here. But I don't think that's going to matter uh, because the front, this, the front two edges are going to be level. And then it's going to be hanging on the wall on both of those walls. I have pre-marked the stud here and here, and then it's it has holes that were they were going into a stud over on the right side inside the cabinet also, but I didn't mark those yet. Inside the cabinet, I have put a penciled circle around. That's going to be where it goes into the stud, and then up here I did the same thing: a penciled circle. Um, not the previous hole. It wasn't quite in the hole uh, in the stud last time So I've marked it so that it will actually go in the stud and then there's a hole over here on this side that that one was in the stud So if I believe that if we hang the back and right sides on the wall That doesn't really need to be resting on the floor. We don't need to shim it up or anything We just need to have the left and front sides on the tile floor after the vanity is hanging, there's going to be a little gap between this tile, where this tile ends, and where it's supposed to touch the vanity. I want to fill that in with tile. Same thing over here. Fill in that little gap with tile. Um, it's just the width of a tile. It's nothing. Um, and then I want to use the white quarter round on the front and left sides. The white quarter round is right here inside here if you find it a thousand times more simple to use the this baseboard tile that was already that used to be glued on the toe kick and on the side of the cabinet then you can i just don't like it when the baseboard goes around on the cabinets so it's my preference that the quarter round is used but if you find, man, this is so much simpler if we just reuse all this, then I don't have to cut tile, then I don't have to do anything, then go ahead. That's fine. I have glue to glue the tile in here. I have caulking, uh, grout caulk, which is not the same color. I'm aware of that right there. So that sucks. I would say around here where it connects with the countertop, um, I'll use clear caulking. Don't use that grout caulk on there. Um, the grout caulk is for actually where the tiles join each other. Also, before the cabinet goes in, we should clean off all the old caulking here on the, on the countertop. Once the cabinet is reinstalled, of course, reconnect the water lines and the drain. All the parts are in there that you need, the J-trap and that sort of thing. The drawers here, they have a latch or something. They get they put it, you put the drawer in the back and then it clicks into the front, I think. But it, it clicks into place. It's it'll be very obvious when it's correct. Um, it will be less obvious if it's incorrect.